Brand new month, brand new outlook from the Centers for Climate Prediction. And this is the April forecast from those government climatologists. And uh, the temperature outlook for the western United States calling for an above average chance of above average uh, temperatures. As you can see here, we are in the darker oranges indicating a relatively strong signal that extends all the way up into Alaska, by the way. Not drier than average, however, wetter than average weather. And boy, I have heard from a lot of folks quite concerned about drought, wildfire season, uh, snowpack dwindling. And so this is, I know, coming as welcome news to many people. Um, there may be some planting that will have to be uh, carefully coordinated as a result of this uh, greater than average chance of above average precipitation. And by this time, we are looking at valley rain and mountain snow. Uh, although, one rule out an occasional snow shower. It has happened in April, has happened in May. On our satellite and radar right now, we do have some wet weather trying to come up from the south. It is not going to have much luck. It is running into high pressure in place. Uh, that difference in pressures is creating some breezy conditions out of the north. Uh, we'll see winds in the 5 to 15 mile per hour range overnight. And some locations could get up to 25 mile per hour gusts tomorrow. But high pressure winds out tomorrow. Expect blue skies, sunshine, and temperatures above average with all of that moisture coming off of the Pacific staying to the south. We'll be in the sunshine. I know a lot of kids are on spring break, and I am encouraging my own children to get outside tomorrow because things will start to change on Wednesday. Here is a look at your seven-day forecast. We bring in the chance of showers on Wednesday and drop our temperatures a little bit, but that's still running above average. A slight chance of rain on Thursday, and then the wet weather really starts kicking in. Friday through the weekend, windy conditions as as well. A uh, little bit of a concern with melting snow. The combination of rain and windy conditions really takes a toll on that uh, lower elevation to mid elevation snowpack. And so we will be watching area streams and rivers. But right now it seems like looks like anything uh, that we would experience in flooding will be minor.